Hello and welcome back to the daily update from the Wayne County Sheriff's Office. I'm Captain Doug Hunter coming to you today on February the 17th, 2016. First of all, domestic violence is no laughing matter, but there are some cases where you just have to step back and ask yourself, really? Such is the case of the case last night where a deputy responded to a call of domestic disturbance between a man and a woman, and upon arrival they found that the man had been struck in the head uh, after the woman threw a candy jar full of Valentine's Day candy at the man, causing some injury. Now, the deputy's report indicated that the candy was uh, spewed about the room. I can only picture these little uh, candy hearts uh, all over the living room of the residence. But nonetheless, the woman was arrested and transported to jail. She was arrested for domestic violence, and the report indicated that she appeared to be under the influence of alcohol. Now, when domestic cases come in, it seems like nearly always uh, alcohol is a factor in these types of cases. If people were not intoxicated, they would not be arguing or at least fighting to the point to where law enforcement has to be called. Likewise, yesterday, uh, someone approached me on the topic of counterfeit money, and they were talking about the pens that you use to check counterfeit money. Now that technology was somewhat effective years ago, but it's really not an effective method any longer because most recently the counterfeit money that we've encountered has actually been real money. Now you say, well wait, you said it was counterfeit. Yes, it is counterfeit, but what we've encountered are uh, actually dollar bills or five dollar bills that have been bleached and then larger denominations be printed on top of them. So when you check those types of bills with a counterfeit detection pen, it will check as real money because it is an actual bill, whether it's a dollar bill or a five dollar bill or whatever. But the denominations are what have been changed. So you need to look your money over carefully. There are a number of security features built into our currency today. You can visit the uh, United States Department of Treasury website. They have a lot of information on detecting counterfeit, counterfeit bills. Uh, however, the counterfeit detection pens just are not very effective on that. So I just thought I'd pass that on to you. Likewise, another event tonight that I would encourage you to participate in. I'm disappointed I'm not going to be able to be there. But the Meet the Candidates Night is being held tonight at 6.30 in Worcester at the a Red Cross building there. I've always looked forward to that event in years past, just not going to be able to make it tonight. But if at all possible, I'll encourage you to go there and attend that it's sort of a, a mini debate between the local candidates uh, running for various offices here in Wayne County. So uh, it's a good, good opportunity to get to see these people, meet them, and hear what they have to say and become involved in the election process. So that's what I have for you for today. Until next time, stay safe.